Hello guys, in this video I will show you on how to create a simple CRUD application using MariaDB and PHP. In previous video, I showed you on how to open a connection to MariaDB using PHP. So here is the source code. Now I'll show you on how to retrieve or display records from MariaDB to PHP. So let's go so we need to create a new file and type the opening script of the PHP then let us save it and then we will name it as list of students okay so you need to look for the correct uh, file type and then we will name it as this students that page and then using this statement we'll be adding in this page using the require or the include statement require db connect that okay, so we have the connection here and then we'll be defining the table structure since we will display it inside of a table or we will display it using a table then let us check the structure of the database that we created Okay, so in this example, I use Navcat for my SQL, or we can use the PHP my admin. Okay, so click the admin button to open the PHP my admin. We'll just check the structure of the database so this is the database dbcrad and then this is the table dbl student and go to structure to check the different fields so we have id name address sex and course and then in our search code we'll defining the heading of the table so i'll be using the t-head tag to specify the heading part of the table then tr slash tr and then we'll be using the table head we'll be using the table heading or the th tag slash th then let's copy this one And then pound sign for the numbering, the name, let's check the structure of the table, address, sex, and course. Address, sex, then course. Okay, so we define the heading part of the table. The next is we'll be defining the body section. So we will be using the T body. Then let's check the output. Okay, so localhost, then crude, then enter. Then we have the two files the dbconnect and the list students.php. So let's click the list student.php. So we have an error here, connection failed. So let's just check the source code that we have made right in here so I think I uh -huh. have a problem with the I think the password should be then fine so connected to database so we'll be removing this statement connected to database 
and then in, your, in this section you'll be deleting it so you don't need to display a text that if your connection is successful then you can fight okay so you for, I forgot to save it then I fight so we don't have any uh, text uh, at the top of our table so next is will be querying the data of our table so let's check the data so we have two records okay the name John and Peter from Chage and San Isidro and then the course is BSIT and BSCS so we'll be retrieving that and we'll be displaying that in a table so okay so we'll be opening the PHP script here and then the SQL statement SQL then select asterisk from PBL student so just make it sure that the table name is correct so the name of the table is PBL student and then after that okay so we'll be using or defining a statement or in this example we'll be using the repair statement so rest is equal to the name of our connection which is con the variable con here and then we'll be using the repair statement of the video so i'll just explain to you later on why we'll be using the prepare statement sql and then we'll be executing this statement using the rest then the execute statement and after that we'll be checking if there is a record inside of that table using the statement row count so rest and then row count so this variable can be changed okay this is not a static variable you can use your own variable that uh, rest uh, stands for resolve so the data that will be retrieved using the prepare statement will be stored in this variable and then we'll be counting the number of rows so if it is greater than zero that means there is a, a value or there is a data stored in that table otherwise you'll be printing no records found so still we'll be placing that inside of a table so if you were going to display a, an html tag you'll be closing with double quote in php so if you if you have a question or if you're wondering why i didn't use an echo statement here because uh, i closed the php script here so that means uh, php uh, php script will only be used can only be used inside of the opening and the closing uh, statement of the php just like here so in this section since it, it is not part of the PHP uh, PHP script you can use directly the HTML tags but in here since it is placed inside of the PHP script you need to use the echo statement to display uh, HTML tags slash dr and then td slash td so We'll be counting the number of columns, 2, 4, 5, and we'll be using the full span. Full span is equal to 5. So since we use double quotation here, so we'll be using the single code inside of the double quotation. And then we'll be displaying no records found. Okay. Then inside of this, since we have a record, Okay. 
this one will be displayed only if there are no records of the inside of the table but since we have two records in our table will be this statement will be executed okay so next is we'll be using the while statement to look around or to display all the records inside of the table and then we'll be using the or we'll be defining another variable is equal to res and then we'll be using the statement fetch so we'll be retrieving the record and then we'll specify okay how it will be retrieved so pdo since we we're using the pdo fetch aso so that means we'll be using the associative array to retrieve the data or associative format and then we'll be displaying the tr again table row tr enter semicolon and then slash tr and then td slash td and then how many table or how many columns we have five columns so we'll be just copying this one so in the form of an array so in our second column we'll be displaying the name so since we use we use this variable row then row and then the name of the column so let's check the name of the column the name of the column is id name address exports so we'll be displaying the name statement and then we'll just copy this one okay and then okay sorry i open another application okay close we'll be using the address sex and course address sex and so in the first column will be allotted or is allotted. So in the in the first column it is allotted for the numbering. So we'll be defining a variable here i is equal to one. And then as the loop uh, goes, then as the loop. then we'll copy the variable i and then every time the statement loops will be adding or we will increment the value of i into one so that it will generate a, a series of number which is one two three four five six seven eight nine then let's check the output by refreshing this page okay so we have a problem no database selected under these students okay so let's check what causes the problem okay so i found the problem so the problem is in here so instead of comma it should be semicolon and everything is correct and even this one uh, there is no problem with our source code here and then let's just refresh it and then we have this output okay so to make the table visible we'll be adding a border on our table so border is equal to one and then cell body to add body then pipe cell body okay then five so we have this kind of output okay so that's all thank you for watching see you on our next videos god bless